Have you ever wondered what $6,000 will buy you at a dealer only auction? I can tell you it won't buy this Bentley. Well, today's a really, really cool video because you're getting a twofer. What will this Bentley sell for at a dealer only auction? I ran it through last week and it was an absolute flop. I'm gonna run it again this week and I got a much better number. That's the first part of this video. The second part is I'm gonna explore a dealer only auction and see what we can buy with six thousand dollars my name is craig from flying wheels and this is flipping four hundred dollars into a ferrari let's get going so hey everyone welcome to my flying wheels youtube channel my name is craig from flying wheels i can tell you what 13 months ago, I started a challenge to see if I could buy a Ferrari in under 12 months with just $400. What does that mean? Well, I started with an initial investment of $400, bought a car, fixed a car, sold a car, bought another car, fixed a car, sold a car. 13 months later, I can tell you I failed. I do not have that Ferrari, but is it really a failure? Because I mean, I have that right there. I have a Bentley Continental GT that I absolutely love and I have $6,000. So yes, I don't have a Ferrari yet, but I have a super cool car and $6,000, and I would call that a success. So today I'm gonna to take you to the auction. There's thousands of cars all around, and I'm gonna see what we can buy with that extra $6,000 so we can keep this series going. So let's get started. I mean, obviously this stuff is out, and that's kinda of neat, but that'll be out too. I have to look at something like this, like a Honda CRV. Now we're going into winter and then comes tax season. So I have to think, what are people gonna want going into winter? SUVs, all wheel drives, minivans are crazy hot right now. And then I have to think tax season is only two months away. So we're gonna need some cheap, cheap cars as well. So let's get exploring for the auction. This is the auction. You'll see there are thousands and thousands of cars all over the place. Well, what we're gonna do is there's multiple lanes. So there's like six or seven lanes and they run green light or red light. Green light means there is a warranty kind of until five o'clock that day. Red light means it's as is, too bad, you get it, you own it. Now, what does that mean? Over 11 years, wait, over nine years old, over 100,000 miles, you own it, automatically red light. Under 10 years, under 100,000 miles, you have the option of buying a green light, which means the auction will kind of warranty it for you. But in a $6,000 price range, everything's gonna be red light, everything's gonna be as is, I'm gonna own whatever I buy today. Saturn Sky with 78,000 miles would work, but like I said, going into winter, that stuff is useless to me right now. So is that Challenger, so is that Mustang. Not really my cup of tea, but I've always been a fan of anything that's semi-sporty from the 90s. I do love these Integras. Automatic though, it'd be more fun if it was all wheel drive. I like that it's original. 220,000 miles though, nah. And it does have that typical rust spot on the corners where the bumper connects and attaches. And I'm gonna take it back to the old school. I'm going cheap today, $6,000, that's kind of fun. We've been getting into some more expensive cars which have less maintenance, less work to do, which is kind of neat. But that's unrealistic to a lot of people. I'm happy we're doing like a $6,000 car. Again, we're back in that regular budget-friendly cars, those fun flips, kind of neat, and what I like about this video. Now, ironically, my wife doesn't like her SUV. I bought a really, really nice SUV, and all she wants is her minivan back. I sold her minivan on her to a customer that really wanted it when it was in for service. It came with a cash offer. I couldn't refuse it. So my wife dropped her van off for an oil change, and I sold it on her and gave her an SUV, which was nicer, but she wants the minivan back. This one doesn't cut it though. We need a DVD player for the kiddos so they keep quiet. And we like heated leather remote starters. But as strange as it is to say, minivans are a hot commodity and I haven't been able to replace it. Like I sold her van eight months ago and I can't find another one to replace it. Ooh, an 07 Land Cruiser. 182,000 miles, but people are, they don't care with Toyotas. I bet this is still six grand. I'm all over the place today because if I sell that Bentley, then I need a car for the winter. Weird to say, but that Bentley's all-wheel drive. It'd be a perfect winter car. That way I'm not driving my Duramax all winter long. I, I like to have a car and a truck. My Corvette I can't drive in the winter, so the Bentley's a perfect winter car. Weird to say, but if I sell that, now I have to find something else that I can enjoy all winter. Take up skiing, pick up the kids from school and sports. So I have like a whole thing on the, a whole list on the agenda for today. All right, I've already done a video on these. I don't even care that it has 217,000 miles on it. These are great sellers as long as the frame isn't rotted. And if I can find a five speed, I do really, really well with them. But there's no way, even with 217,000 miles, this is gonna be six grand. But this might be right here. I do really well with Sequoias 
even though I am not a Toyota fan. That happens. This happens, ready? Yeah, that happens. The frame rots on them. So I'm gonna try to stay away from Sequoias and Tundras today. I do have a friend that wants to sell me his 2021 Gladiator and it's way nicer than this one's blue. It is a Rubicon. It's super cool. So Danny, oh, well, that would a bummer, the dents on the tailgate. Danny, if you're watching this video, hit me up. I am interested in your Rubicon. I'll tell you what, after driving the country in an electric vehicle that Porsche take on, I am an EV fan. Here's a 2020 Model S. Oh, these are so nice. How crazy is it they have Netflix and Hulu? It's just so weird that it's like a barren dashboard with a giant television in the center. This is strange. If you haven't seen my cannonball run across the country in the electric Porsche, you gotta check it out. But after doing it, I'm an EV fan, I like it. It was really convenient to have an electric car, except the charging stations were terrible. Look at this white leather, my kids would destroy it. I can't own something like this. That would be in my price range. A 2000 SL500, but 18,000 miles. Jeez, this is a weird one because there's not like a huge market for it, but with that kind of miles, somebody's gonna want it, but it's the wrong time of year. Hmm, how much is this? How much is this worth with 18,000 miles? Okay, even though it's not all wheel drive, this might work. It's a 2016 with 60,000 miles. Oh, cloth interior. I sound so bougie, but my kids ruin cloth. That's why we need the leather, not for fanciness. Okay, here we go. There's no way this ST is gonna be in my price range for $6,000, but I sell a ton of these. I never buy Ford Focuses unless it's an ST. Terrible transmissions. But the ST is coming five speed. 50,000 miles with, uh, it's a 2013 with 50,000 miles and leather. Look at those Recaros, so nice. But this will be closer to like 10 grand. But I have a buyer for this already, so this wouldn't be so bad for me to pick up and sell off this Ferrari flip. Not related. Well, the auction has started, we have a few hundred prospects, so like Forrest Gump's mama says, you never know what you're gonna get. Let's go to the auction, see what we end up with for $6,000, and what else we buy today? 5,100 on a 2014 Nissan Xterra is a steal, but it has a check engine light. That could mean a transmission for all I know. Oh man, that Xterra is ringing the number. That's spot on. If I didn't know that that transmission was or wasn't any good, I would have grabbed that. I'd get it on the sack right now. All in, all good, all that's an 08 Acura TL with 118,000 miles that I just bought for $3,500 automatic. That is an absolute steal. I also just bought that lifted Jeep Grand Cherokee with 170,000 miles, but it's clean. Seriously, first two cars I looked at I bought. Today is going well so far. I hope it's gonna be a good day. Oh man, I think I just found my winter car. 2015 A8L, 109,000 miles. This is a beautiful, beautiful car. Look at that leather. Oh man, so nice. All right, I got my new winter car. $20,400 MMR, which is like dealer pricing is 23. So I'm about $3,000 under on that car right there. Now I can sell my Bentley because I have a winter car that's slightly more, slightly more reliable. Is that such a thing with an Audi? No word of a lie. 10 minutes ago, I was down there saying, all right, the auction started, let's go. I bought three cars and spent 35 grand already and there's like hours of the auction left. All right, as crazy as this sounds, no, I didn't buy that right there. I bought that right there. This is a brand new Ford Accessories, 32 and a half thousand pound fifth wheel trailer hitch. This is a $2,000 accessory for your vehicle, for your truck, and I need one. Now, I don't have a Ford, but you can get the adapter to link up to my Denali, my Duramax. That, I paid $650 for. Okay, I'm already spending way too much money. I had to take a break and walk out. While we're on topic, check this out. Looking for some Christmas gift ideas? Support our channel with some Flying Wheels merch. You can find the link right here in the description down below. You can buy all kinds of like t-shirts and hoodies and hats and all kinds of swag. Cool Flying Wheels stuff helps promote our channel. Let's check out this Bentley. Now, if you haven't been following our Ferrari flip, I'm gonna give you a quick overview. This is an 05 Bentley Continental GT. I absolutely love this car. I've had a blast with it. I'm really enjoying it. If you saw my last video, you knew I was complaining about this window gap. It's annoying. It doesn't go up on its own or something. I don't know, but it's just weird. And since I came into the auction, part of the problem about bringing your cars to the auction is like people are in and out of it all day. So they just kind of play with things. And now look at like, I have a traction light on that wasn't on before. Is that a button that somebody pushed? I don't even know. Where's the traction button? I don't even know, but that wasn't on when I brought it here. Now it's on, just kind of annoying. 
but it's a better day today than it was last week, even though it's raining. And to be honest with you, I love this car, but now that I have that Audi, I'm ready to let this thing go, but just look at how nice it is. I don't need to overview the whole car again. We've already done this, but it's really nice. I mean, look at it, that dolphin gray, same color as my Audi S5 was, that it's just like such a cool looking color, and it's so classic yet modern looking at the same time. I mean, you would never know this is an 05 if I didn't just say it. Look at how cool looking that is. I actually do really, really well with these Honda Elements, and it's basically a CRV Civic version, but it's all wheel drive, they're real time. Even though it has 174,000 miles, I still do really well with these. Let's see what this goes for. Ooh, it's a hand shaker though. Millennial anti-theft device. No parents teach your kids how to drive standard anymore, and that's everyone's number one complaint when selling a Honda standard. Oh, it's for my kid. Oh, they don't know how to drive a standard. Teach your kids how to drive a standard transmission, please. All right, here we go. Here's my baby in all her glory. People are looking around. Let's see how she does today. Hopefully better than last week. Bid on it last week was 22,750, and I, I, if I can get 28, I'll sell it today, but I own it, I think, for around 30. Oh no, this Mercedes is running through at the same time as mine. I'm not even gonna be able to see what it sells for, nor am I gonna be able to buy it, obviously. Where's my grandfather when I need him? Papa Al, you're my backup bidder. I need you here. Here we go, we got 22,750 last week. Let's see how we do this week. I won at 30, but if we can get like 28, I'll second back up. It's a good one. All wheel drive. 26 grand. 26 grand, all wheel drive. I'm 25, 8, 26. 550 horsepower. We got 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. All of these would have gone through. 30 grand, I got 25, 8. I own it for 30. I can do 28. It's a good car. All right, height bait is 26. That's almost $4,000, 3,000 and change more than it was last week, which is awesome. That's a respectable number. That's actually more than what I paid for the car at the auction. You got to consider, though, I have transportation costs. I replaced the windshield. I did some recon and a couple other repairs. So I own it for significantly more. The guy's probably spot on at 26,000, but I don't know what to do. I've had so many offers of 30 and I've just turned them all away because I was either busy, I didn't have time. I didn't feel like dealing with the person that offered me the 30. Probably should have just sold it for the 30 originally. Now I don't know what to do with that car. All right, here's the reason I'm so eager to sell the Bentley, because now I have this Audi A8L for my winter car. Oh, dang. I didn't see that dent right there. I bought this Audi A8L as my winter car. It has a car inspection sticker. The leather is what sells me on it. This car is so beautiful. You know the game. Let's see if it starts. Where's the start button? All right. Now, this is a 4OT, so... Good, no check engine light. 40T, which is a four liter twin turbo V8. Yeah, a four liter V8 twin turbo, all wheel drive with 435 horsepower. This is, I had an A7 last, wait, did I have an S7? I had an S7 last year that was just a stunning car and same engine and kind of drivetrain as this car, but it wasn't nearly as luxurious as this car is. Now, I just had the same problem with my Grand Cherokee Overland. Like, it goes into neutral because I hit it too hard. All right, we have reverse. We have drive. Okay, I know what you're going to say. Craig, why are you looking at it now hoping it has reverse and drive after purchase? It's an auction. Auctions happen really, really fast. You guys were with me when I was looking at cars. I didn't look. Ooh, look at this Alcantara headliner. Wow. I didn't look at this car. I didn't see it. And I didn't see it till it was in the lane, which means I have, like, a minute, a minute and a half to look at this car as fast as I can. I can see that it passed Massachusetts inspection in July. I looked at the tires. I peeked in to look at the brake pads. I looked for rust. I looked for engine lights, dummy lights on the, on the dashboard. But that's about all I can really do in a minute to a minute and a half and hope, fingers crossed, everything is what it is. Because remember, over 100,000 miles is red light as is. I own this thing. Let's go check out that Grand Cherokee. All right, here's my Grand Cherokee. 05, 177,000 miles. Has a current inspection sticker from July, which is awesome for me. Now, I expect there to be rust down there, which there's not. Let's check the other side. I think I saw some. Yeah, a little bit right here. Why is it locked? I like that it's lifted. This would be kind of a reliable little car for somebody, and I didn't pay a lot of money. I already forget what I paid. That's how fast-paced the auction is. I forget what I bought. I forget what I paid. I forget how much I paid. I forget what color cars are. Typical stains. These seats used to get stained in 2005. Brand new ones used to stain. It smells like cigarettes in here. 
pretty gross. But for the price I paid, I really can't complain. Oh, see what I mean? I forgot that I even bought this. This might be the buy of the day. 08 Acura TL. Is that dirt or yeah, f cloudy hood? Mm, inspection sticker just expired. Oh, man. Come on, dude. What is this guy? Did somebody sit there with razor blades in their pocket? Ugh, and it stinks like a monkey's butt. How do I know what a monkey's butt smells like? I don't really know why I said that. Gross, this is a nasty car, but the price is right. Dang, how do you do this in 118,000 miles? Ugh, I thought it was the buy of the day till I looked inside it. All right, let's go back inside the auction, see if I can pick away with one or two more cars, call it a day. We'll get them all back to the shop and uh, we'll see what we end up with. I have a guy on the line right now, he's looking at it. I'm kind of feeling I want to sell it now that I bought that Audi. I have a buyer on the line at 26. I gotta check my numbers to see what I really have into this car because it's anywhere near there. I'm just gonna sell it. If I didn't just buy that Audi, I'd keep it and then use it all winter. But now that I have something newer, I don't mind letting it go, even if it's for a small loss. All right, numbers are in. I paid 24,750 for the car, which is actually a great deal. The problem is the buyer's fee I forgot shipping. The buyer's fee was 8% because it was a specialty auction. That absolutely wiped me out. That killed the car. So with a buyer's fee of $1,980 at a $1,400 windshield, I own it for $28,130. Now I shipped it. Shipping was another $600, which was actually a great price on that. I own it for $28,630. $28,730. $28,730. Dollars. I know for a fact I can get 30 grand on this Bentley. So I could still profit from the Bentley, have a Bentley, and I made YouTube revenue off that car. Now I can't include that in any of the series and I haven't, but we have like half a million views on that Bentley videos, on those Bentley videos. So I, I can't include any of that in this transaction though, because I try to play it as if you guys are doing it. You can't include YouTube revenue. So at 28, 730 I can't sell for 26 that would be a $2,730 loss but wait I have a seller's fee at the auction of like 250 bucks so I'd be losing close to three grand on that car uh, it's not worth it to me I'd rather have a Bentley than lose three grand on a Bentley auctions over there's the guy I was talking about earlier Papa Al check out these back seats look at that this is all heated controls everything's right there that is an amazingly nice car and then that button watch this Oh, that does that. I thought it was the rear screen. Watch this one. There we go. That's what that button does. Parking sensors, automatic shut off, traction control. What do these buttons do? I wonder. This is such a nice car. Way nicer than my Bentley. All right, so next to your power seat, above it is a small button. Yeah. Push that button. I can feel it. Did it turn on? I'm being massaged right now and it's pretty unbelievable. Yeah. Ooh, that was fast. Yeah. I didn't expect to get to that car as quickly as we did. As soon as the turbo spooled up. We only bought three cars, but I bought that uh, hitch, that fifth wheel hitch. That, it's like a $2,000 hitch I paid $650 for. We got the Acura TL and we got the Jeep Wrangler and we got the Audi that I love. I, this thing was way too much money for me. That's why I stayed away from it. I don't know what the heck I'd do with that. So all together, we only bought three cars. The Bentley, I gotta give it to the auction. They hooked me up on a number. I had a good number. I just, and I think we got a good price on it. I just own it for too much. All right, let's go see the cars we bought. Good lesson Papa Al just taught me. Unfortunately, we got a dead battery, but what he said was look to see why the battery was dead before you actually turn the car on. What light was left on? What turns on when you just plug it in? That way you know why it was dead is a trick to this Acura. What'd you have to do? Jump it right to the jump it to the source right to oh. the box. He did it for us. Thank you. Oh. So I showed you the Acura and needs a little bit of work, and I want to show you this Jeep Grand Cherokee because it is pretty gross and the like windshield wiper stock is loose and I'm missing buttons. Now I know in my video thumbnails or my titles I say flipping $400 for Ferrari. I, I don't want to insinuate that this is a quick flip. None of these are really quick flips. All of them take work. If you notice what I say at the beginning is, I bought a car, fixed a car, cleaned a car, sold a car. Bought another car, fixed a car, cleaned a car, sold a car. All of them take 
work, like real sweat equity. So yes, we're putting money into the cars, but we're also putting our time, like our hands and labor into these vehicles to sell as well. Now this car I have about two grand into, and same with the Acura, I mean just under two grand on each car. And then this right here, is another like I'll make a thousand dollars on that item probably this is a two thousand dollar fifth wheel hitch that nobody's ever used before I paid like seven hundred and change after the fees and this is about two and the Acura is about two so there's that five grand I came with six thousand dollars the answer to the question that I asked beginning what will six thousand dollars buy will buy me a hundred eight thousand mile Acura TL a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee and a fifth wheel hitch and we're going to make money on all of those, so I think it's actually better for me to have three vehicles that are three items that I can sell and make a profit on versus one, but that's three times more the work. Now this one I think is still the buy of the day, but it is rough. I think I can find this seat online somewhere. Once the seats are placed, then we can start cleaning the carpets and everything else. There is a VSA light, a traction light on, so we'll take care of that stuff, but it has... Well, the inspection sticker expired in September, but it has good tires. The body's really, really clean. It's not rusty in the spots that are normally rusty. So I think, look at these Sumo Tumos. I think this is gonna be a win. So I'll probably get close to six grand when I'm finished. I don't know what we'll have into it. Oh, I gotta find this taillight too. That's a bummer, but you know, nothing's free. I gotta buy stuff, fix stuff, clean stuff, so I can sell stuff. So this one will probably sell for around 6,000. This one, is my favorite. This car had an MSRP of $93,000 in 2015. Fast forward six years and 109,000 miles later, I paid 20,500 ish for this car. The Bentley we still have, and this Jeep Wrangler, 2005 Wrangler, 177,000 miles. I paid like just under two grand, I believe. And I don't know, 3,500, maybe 4,000 we should be able to get for this. So that's it for today. I would consider it a success, even though I really feel like I should have sold that Bentley. But at 26, I'm losing almost three grand. So I could absolutely sell it for 30,000. I've had 100 offers of $30,000. I'm just gonna lower the price, sell it retail, enjoy my Audi. And I got some pretty cool cars today. So, so far, so good, a success. Christmas gift ideas, flying wheels, merch from Spreadshirt down below. Click the link for that stuff. I'll see you later. Thanks for enjoying my videos alongside with me. I enjoy doing them because you guys enjoy watching them. I appreciate the support. If you want to see what we do every day, you can follow us on social media like TikTok and Instagram and Facebook with links down below in the description as well. Help me out with a thumbs up because that helps boost the algorithm that helps me grow my channel so I can make better videos for you guys, people helping people. Once again, thanks for everything guys. I'm doing what I love. Thanks to all of you. Have a great day. Adios.